These are the sentinels of the Gulf. It is the public's first look at the Armada the Navy calls a 350,000 ton calling card. A blunt warning that if the caller is provocative, the welcome will be harsh. Uh, I think the message is, should be loud and clear that, uh, that we're serious uh, and if sufficiently provoked, uh, uh, we could uh, respond uh, uh, with uh, military power. A power generated by 10,000 men aboard 14 battle-ready ships, including the Iowa and the Ticonderoga. Above decks, anti-aircraft missiles stand ready. Below, arrays of video screens offering sophisticated electronic data on the entire Persian Gulf. They track hundreds of targets simultaneously and send the message out to the ships. Yes, I'll have to confirm uh, later when I get the weight sheet, but uh, right now I'm estimating 23 knot requirement for the launch. Aboard the aircraft carrier Midway, the air boss rules. B.J. Craig is the caller in a square dance of air power. On the flight deck, gents, it's time for all personnel to get in the proper flight deck uniform. Helmets on, goggles down, floats on, snap them up. Sleeves roll down, gloves on, check those tool pouches. Uppers to your go aircraft. We're going to start the A6s, the Iron Claws, and the Echo 2s. Well, we're here for a reason, and that's to support our, our, our national policy uh, in a pretty hot spot right now. And, uh, I think everyone feels that a little bit. We're all key to that. We're ready to respond if called upon. I don't think anybody wants anything to happen, but uh, I'll guarantee you we'll be the first in line if it does. The F-18 Hornets scatter over the Gulf almost every day, providing air cover for reflagged tankers in the Strait of Hormuz and intercept Iranian pilots straying too close. But the non-routine missions are the ones the forces must be ready for. A constant state of alert. A situation Top Gun Ernie Wadham is content to deal with. You can see that being out by yourself, stationed somewhere around the ship in your F-18, that just about anything could happen. You have to be able to react, knowing the rules of engagement, etc., to any potential threat or hostility that may come up. Indeed, despite the firepower, manpower, and electronics, shipping targets continue to sit in the bullseyes of Iran and Iraq. But should the floating calling card be summoned, it will deliver its greeting. Edgarston, CNN reporting.